Hello and welcome back to the channel. So yes, this is part two of our latest adventure. We've now travelled from Flamingo Land um, in Yorkshire over um, into Blackpool and we are now staying at our second location which is a Haven site and as I said it's about 10 minutes from the main Pleasure Beach. So the plan in this video is to obviously give you a bit of a rundown of the park, what we got up to, some of the different activities um, that's actually uh, on site and then I'll give you a bit of a flavour of some of the other bits that we did whilst we were there that was sort of away, um, the Pleasure Beach, water park, that kind of thing. So as you come into the main uh, uh, area, into sort of the security area, you're let through the main barriers and you take a, a right and it takes you onto this ride. And this ride is the main one all the way up to the touring area. It goes parallel with the, the majority of the static vans. Um, and up near the touring area is actually the entertainment space. So again, you are quite near all of that. Um, normally you, you find that the touring areas are sort of quite some distance, but in this case, that's not. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you a bit of a breakdown of how the sort of days went. Um, so yeah, on the Wednesday when we turned up, it was just a case of just setting up and just getting everything ready. Uh, the Thursday we had a, a couple of activities booked uh, for the morning so we had the climbing wall for Charlie and then the other three had um, archery and then uh, it was a case of then going to the water park uh, opposite the Pleasure Beach in the afternoon which was um, Sandcastle um, but again you book um, a three hour session um, and yeah really good sort of setup in terms of a water park lots to do there um, but um, yeah, some of the rides are a bit, <laughs> a bit scary in terms of, yeah, uh, doubled up on Ringo's and yeah, quite fast. So yeah, worth a look if, if that sort of interests you. Um, then the Friday, it, we just spent the whole day at the Pleasure Beach. It was one of the sort of things that Jack wanted to get through in terms of activities. So yeah, that was the sort of the Friday gone. And then Saturday, we were back on site. Um, doing a couple more activities um, we had sort of a, a jumping um, bar, a wall thing where you jump off onto a big crash mat and again we did that in the morning um, followed by uh, a swim and then we had uh, Blackpool Tower in the afternoon so yeah that was sort of uh, a good experience and, and well worth sort of a, a, a little wander and have a look but um, yeah there's quite a few different things actually on, on the sort of main beach location so yeah plenty to sort of have a look at there sort of uh, Blackpool dungeons um, but again yeah it depends on sort of what you're after but certainly lots to see and do but um, yeah that sort of broke up the days that we had um, but again slightly different than Flamingo Land where everything was on site where obviously this is a bit of a, a mixture So this is sort of coming into sort of the main area now. Uh, how the touring section works here on the right, you'll see soon there's, there's the start of it. You sort of got this sort of um, a number of rows here. I think it's about eight rows of caravans, double-sided. Um, you've got the uh, shower block there and facilities. But again, the pictures are of a fair size um, and, and what how it worked for us is it was just a case of, yes, they allocated a pitch which is what we thought, but it actually it turned out to be, no, you just basically go up and down the rows until you see what that one's available. So again, some are better than others, but overall, yeah, it, they should be fine. So as I said, the pictures are a good size. So again, you shouldn't have any issues there in terms of an awning um, and caravan setup. Um, and then the, the, the vehicle is just uh, part parallel. Um, to each each side of the of the um, rows. So this is the main uh, entertainment space here on the right. Um, and again, if you need anything in terms of uh, a shop, that's just here on the left hand side. And again, it's got your usual sort of bakery and everything that you you would need if you need to pick up any supplies. Um, but again, yeah, pretty good on that front. 
then you've got your sort of higher space so you get you get your, your pedal carts and everything there on your left hand side and then it just takes you into sort of a, a smaller park but again if you're doing any activities this is sort of the sort of area that you need to be depending on what you're doing So this is just taking you around to the main entrance and as it's on the website, so yeah, you have got a Papa John's, you've got a Burger King, you've got a restaurant here, which is uh, in front of you now. So yeah, this is the restaurant here on the left or breakfast bar. Um, again, you walk through that to get to this space that you can see on the right here. And this is where the water park is got the uh, different activities whether it's crazy golf, archery, climbing wall, um, uh, the crash mat that you jump onto again it's all located within this space but you do need to go through the main door there in front of you now to actually access all this So as you sort of walk through the main doors this is what you're sort of presented with you've got your sort of arcade and your restaurant on the left hand side uh, and again if that's the kind of thing that you're after again it's uh, of a fair size um, and it's, it's right next to the show bar which is sort of behind you in terms of the sort of the amount of static vans and touring so, uh, pitches again we found this to be quite reasonable in terms of space um, we were able to get a table most evenings without any issues um, so yeah it's yeah it, from that side it wasn't too busy you don't need to queue to get in or anything along those lines so this is the main restaurant that you'd walk through um, to get to most of the activities to get to the pool you, you access that through the actual arcade this will show you what the pool area looks like um, uh, and, and what to expect. Uh, you can just see some of the sort of um, fishbowl behind you and then that's the lazy river just behind this wall, a climbing wall here. But again, this is just a, a few of the activities that um, so yeah, the kids got up to. And again, a lot of these um, activities are repeated from like most of the sites within Haven and, and Park Deans and that kind of thing but again it's just to kill a few hours for the kids whilst we got ready to go and do some of the sort of off-site activities Good morning Charlie, jump! So yes, you've got your climbing wall, you've got your jumping mat the other side, you've got your swimming pool, an outdoor lazy river, kids play park, and then in between this and the archery, you've got your crazy golf, and that's your archery in the blue building, and then just to the right of this is your football pitch. Back to doing a, a, a little bit of archery and um, yeah as you can see as he hasn't got much better so it looks like a, a few more sessions are going to be needed until um, yeah she's able to hit the board <laughs> but um, yeah I must admit when they go through the archery lessons like I say they, uh, they do actually sort of go through the, the proper motions in terms of actually teaching you how to hold the bow and, and how to actually hit the target and aim and everything so um, yeah it's, it's well worth a, a go at this. Yes, yeah, so this is the, the, the jumping activity, obviously you've got different platforms. Charlie wasn't overly keen with this one in terms of going up to the next level, but um, yeah, she made it off the first one, but um, yeah, she made it up to the top to have a look, but didn't have the courage to jump off. But uh, yeah, the other, the other three went up and um, yeah, I, I think they had a, a few moments where they were unsure, but yeah, made it off the top. But they seem to enjoy it, and I'd say it's something different. I think this is one of the new attractions for Haven, so um, yeah, we'll have a little looky looky.
What was that about? You let me down, Charlie. What's that about? That's amazing. Is it good? Why, yeah, what happened to you? Why didn't you go on that? Can you give me a drink? Oh, look a minute. When you actually get up. Is it good? You know what? Why didn't you encourage Charlie to do it? We were, she kept saying no. She didn't trust us after you yesterday. Let, you let me down, Charlie. No, no pocket you money. You let me down yesterday. No pocket money for you tonight. You let me down yesterday. How? Making me go on these rides that like you said is a dull one. We should be happy to that. Here it is? Yeah. Feel good? Going right up to the top of that shell. Which we go there. You're gonna, you're gonna make it up those steps? No. Steps? Yeah, we've got to walk it. No. Are you said it's a lift. In just six and nine seconds, passing through 2,593 tons of metal, that's the weight of around 21 million chocolate balls. Are you ready to face your fears? World famous glass skywalk. It's five centimetres thick, triple laminated glass, and can hold the weight of five tons. If the sun is shining, explore our outer levels. That will take you to a height of 412 feet. Please take extra care, the steps may be slippy. Please do not use smoky sticks or electrical fates on any of the levels. If you have any questions during your visit, just find one of the team members who will be able to help with any questions and show you the way back. It's just mega strange, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. So you've certainly got a good view from the top and obviously you can see the pleasure beach down the far end um, but um, yeah the kids really enjoyed it uh, like sort of yeah being able to look down through the glass but um, yeah I'm not sure Louise was too keen on the heights or the glass. <laughs> Yeah, it's glad, I'm glad it's something that we did. Like I say, it did kill uh, an hour, a good hour or so. Uh, there's other bits that you get to do. You got the uh, 4D cinema that you go through before going up the tower. Um, and, and for this, we're actually able to use the uh, Tesco club car points to actually get us uh, entrance uh, at a cheaper rate. So that's worth we'll a look if uh, yeah you're considering coming this way to have a look. So we were parked close to this location. Um, it's near the sort of main pleasure beach that's just in front of you. And just the other side of this pier is where you've got the water park. So again, they're both pretty close. 
And then the other thing just to watch out for is the trams that are going by, a bit like Amsterdam, are very silent and you don't know they're there until they ring the bell, which then makes you jump. So yeah, yeah just be careful of those. Yeah, overall, uh, uh, a good site, close to the actual pleasure beach and that kind of thing, the actual um, the, the seafront, so depending on what you're actually going for. Uh, the site itself had uh, a number of things to do, the usual sort of activities that you would expect on a haven site. Uh, pool was really nice in terms of what was there, a lazy river, indoor pool, um, had a fishbowl sort of flume thing, which was uh, quicker than I was expecting, which was <laughs> quite funny. Um, got your archery, um, that kind of thing but um, yeah overall like I say quite a, a large site um, not too busy or, or with the entertainment um, in terms of the, the volume of different caravans there but um, yeah overall quite a, a good location as a base camp um, but um, yeah not a bad location so that is the end of our two-parter hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the two different sites hopefully if, if these were the sites that you were thinking about going to it obviously it's given you a good idea of what to expect they like say flamingo land was sort of yeah was much better than our expectations again they were high anyway but um yeah no it really did deliver on everything so yeah as i said before a, a site that i would really sort of recommend to anybody for the amount of um items actually on site that's included in the price yeah really good location haven like i say it's a, a quite a bit of a slightly different setup of what you get there but again usual attractions and bits and activities on site but again good as a base camp overall clean and friendly so yeah nothing no issues on that front um but um yeah we'll call it quits there and um yeah we'll keep you posted on the next adventure and i will see you all soon cheers all